Between the man knows a little something about protecting athletes and making sure they have the right information in front of them. He is Robert T. Green. He is a CEO of Pre Post Game. A pleasure to bring him here to ESPN Radio's Freddie Anford Simmons. Robert, when you heard about what Mike Krzyzewski said about supporting the bill in California, that's now a law when it comes to SB 206. What was the first thought that went through your mind? I think Mike Krzyzewski understands that being a coach for Duke for so long and be benefiting from having a Duke program, which you get many athletes such as Christian Layton all the way up to most recently Zion, that if you pass this bill in California and other states don't you know, follow suit, he'll start to lose some of those guys out in California, understanding when you recruit these guys and their families with how much time you have with them in school is very important to give the most advantage you possibly can. Freddie and Fitzsimmons and ESPN Radio. I'm going to stick with Dabo Sweeney because when this all came about, he said, man, they're going to start paying athletes. I might as well go to the National Football League. To me, it seemed to be short-sighted. It seemed to be very, very petty what he had to say. What did you think about what he stated if pro athletes, or or says in college athletes, get paid, not like pro athletes, but getting money for their services? Well, first of all, Freddie, I think we need to basically establish what's pro and what's amateur. The fact of the matter, my mantra is that once someone's willing to pay to watch you play, you have become a professional athlete. Because once someone speaks to you, they give you information that's based on the benefit then, not you. They're going to take what you want to hear, not what you need to know. So essentially, when you all of a sudden you got people coming to watch Clemson football players play, they're not watching for Dabo Sweeney walking up and down the sideline. They're not watching how is that guy who they are paying to get that coach to basically uh, stay off the sideline.